welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. It's been like a month or two. But I'm back. Hopefully I'll be able to upload more videos now. Uh, it's been a rough year starting it off already. But I'm, like I said, I'm back. Um, as you guys can see, right, I'm right here showing you guys this tank. This tank used to be... Uh, my gopers go my gopher catfish's tank before it died and um so I, this this all this these are all goldfish feeder fish what do you guys want to call them um i have my hair going quarantine them for when i feed them to this uh guy right here i'll show you i'll show him in a bit you can kind of see where he at. right there you kind of see a reflection but I leave them here for 30 days make sure they have, they have no parasites or nothing because I learned from experience if you just go to a store and then buy a fish and throw them in there sadly my, that's how my, my first gopher died me just been excited you know trying to watch them eat and um yeah a couple days later I tried everything they told me but it was too late the parasite was on to him but you learn from mistakes, like I said. They all been here for at least 20 days, except for that gold one and that bigger one right here. Those two right there. I right they've been they've been here for 45 days. Usually I, I usually buy 10 because he's a he eats a lot. And all these right here, all these all his massive things. I cleaned this thing three days ago, so he eats a lot. And this wood was with on this tank over here. Remember these guys? Tomorrow I'm gonna do a, a water change. So right now it's already like ten or nine at night, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And I took up that wood just because it turned this, it turned this water yellowish. And I boiled the wood. They told me to boil it for 15 minutes. I did, and it still made it um, yellowish. So. So I'm gonna do like at least 50% water change. Clean up the filter. I got two filters. And I actually got that one and I got this one just you know just in case. This one I think it cleans up to 250 to 300 gallons. But you know, I'm thinking I'm thinking of that one though. But today, to do the update on what I have in here, the OG Oscars. And this is my first because. Throw you out of your hand, look at this watch. Oh, that fool just bit me. Well, he missed, but. Oh, snappies. They're aggressive little ones. They've been with me since. Since I started YouTube, actually. The only fishes that have been with me for a while, so. And um, that cat red tail. That actually, that, that's actually the red tail that I actually bought that week when uh, that tragic happened. He turned my hand. Look, no, not you guys. Nope, not you guys. Look at that. Oh, he's over there. Nope, he goes over there now. Nope, not you guys. Look, see, right on my hand. These guys, they still want more. Should just throw some up there. I know that takes a little mess. Like I said, I've been busy. But they eat like nothing. Like, here's again. Here it comes up again. Where'd he go? There he goes down there. Once this water's clear again, you can see. I have these two guys right here. I have that red tail catfish. And I have another catfish in here. Look, out of my hand. You see that one right there, down there? Look how big he is. Oh, you can already see him. Yeah, you can. He's a, a mar uh, marble archer catfish. These two put them together the same day, the red tail and him. And I think the red tail is bigger than him already. 
but for now they're, st they're still doing. They're, for now they're still staying here in this 55 gallon tank. So because here in Arizona it's still cold, you still get in the mornings like 55, 60s. And um, this year, I bet I, I want to actually build a pond in, in my front house, but uh. I don't know, I've been slacking it a lot lately, so hopefully I make it happen. Look at these guys, I'm trying to feed the red tender, still want, they still want food. The thing is, if I drop it for the Achara catfish, he's gonna, he's gonna go on, he's gonna want to go after it, so. But like I said, I've been slacking it lately, but I don't, I want to build a, this guy, this guy. He's right in my hand too. I see a char catfish. And I also have these enders hiding under, under that rock. I also have a, a royal pleco in there. So he's always heading. Look at the red tail. Massive little red tail. If you guys remember, I had another red tail that passed away. His name was Tank. Because um, of that one. Um, that sandstorm, there you go. So that one sandstorm, he uh, jumped out of that outside pond. But um, now this guy is almost the same uh, size as the one that passed away. If not a little, a little bit small, he's actually massive now. I bought this. I bought both of them when they were like three to four inches, I could say. I like, I like buying my fish small and then I get to raise them, train them little by little, hand feed. The char catfish is down there, you can, you can barely, you can barely see him. The Royal Pleco as well, he's over there. Well that day I bought that Royal Pleco, I bought this guy here too, because they have that discount where, well they had that special where you buy one for full price, you get the second one for a penny. So, I bought my Royal. And then I got this guy for a penny. I don't think you can see him. He's right there hiding. I don't know if you guys can really see him, but he's right there. That's another GoPro, that's another GoPro catfish. And down here I have another one. Right there you can see him. He's hiding. I believe... Oh, this is my newest one. Yeah, he's my newest one. This is my second newest one. And the Royal Placo. This is a biter. I bought him, and um, this guy. I'm still trying to train him how to uh, train him to hand feed. He's a little shy still. He's still new here, but this is where I feed him. I feed him tilapia, and then my Oscars. I also feed him the sickly gold, which they love. They love to eat, and so does my red tail. I don't know why. Do a little thing right here, watch. See, they like to eat it too. So I mix it, I don't give them the same thing over and over. I like to mix it. Because now, now that they're distracted over here, I just threw a piece of tilapia for the tar catfish. You should find it before the red toe. If not, the red toe's gonna go after it. The Chara sees sensing it. That's a massive whiskers on him. But like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna do half uh, water change on it just because. Oh, look, the reds have found it. Did you? No, it's down there still. You just can't get to it. And uh. Let me know down in the comments below if I should put sand on this tank. Because I was thinking of doing gravel, but no, oh, gravels. I keep thinking that it just uh, damage the bottom of my, of my catfish and their sand, their bellies are sensitive. But I don't think today I'm going to throw this guy. Well, I'm not going to sacrifice one of them today just because he barely ate two days ago. For him, I actually bought, I bought some... I keep forgetting if it was a, if I bought uh, fried 
Molly's or Platy's? I think or Platy's. And he, I bought ten of them, and he ate them all. But don't get me wrong, there's the patties are smaller, like the size of a penny. But these guys, for now, I just feed them um, blood worms. They eat blood worms actually, and uh, some of that beta food. Look, he's active right now. He's getting big too. I bought him when he was half of that size. I also give him blood worms and um, I forgot the name of the other thing. So I mix, I, like I say, I mix, I mix everything up. Like him, like I feed him live feeders and tilapia. Well, the tilapia, he rarely he eats it. But once you throw a feeder in there, he goes after it. He chases it. Alright guys, for now that'll be it. Just a quick update on my tanks and my what's going on. Hopefully soon, once the summer gets here, I'll start building a pond outside in the front yard. Just because these guys right here are getting massive already. Look at that. And then this guy just hides behind this rock. But he's massive too, he's almost the same size as the red tail. And uh, once they go out, I'll be able to buy more. I'll be buying another, well, I'll be buying an uh, Asian red tail catfish. I'll grow them here, grow them out here. And then uh, maybe, just maybe an arowana or a marble gar. We'll, we'll see. But for now, guys, that'll be it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share my videos. If this gets two, three likes, I'll try to feed my Gopher life. And um, hopefully he does, because like I say, he's still shy a little bit. So, yeah, guys, for now, I'll be it. Um, and uh, probably I'll end up showing you guys what's going on in the backyard. Like I said, I. I think I mentioned that I own other animals like horses. We actually got like four more horses now. We got a uh, baby uh, baby cow, and uh, we got goats. We got everything. So if you guys want, if you guys want an update on that, you guys want to know, you guys want to see all my other animals out in, in my ranch. Let me know and uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do an update about that. But for now, guys, that'll be it. And uh, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm I'm coming back, uploading more, and keeping you and keeping you guys updated. So now that's it. Thanks, guys.